always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you. You know, this treehouse is very special. There is only one treehouse on Animal Island. One. One treehouse. Let's count together. One. One treehouse. One is a number. Say one. One. That's exactly right. Let's make one our number of the day. Let's do the monkey dance. Yay! Yeah! yeah. yeah. There's a brand new dance. everything one time clap one time nod one time point one time march one time i knew i could count on you you do the monkey dance the monkey dance come on Count together. One. There is one apple. One. Now count them with me. One. How many apples in all? One. Yeah. Come on, wiggle bugs. Snack time. <laughs> Together. One. There is one wiggle bug. One. How many wiggle bugs in all? One. That's right. Let's take their pictures. Say cheese. Thank you for helping me take that picture. 
It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Where is Yellow? What would happen if the color yellow decided to disappear? Let's read and find out. Let's begin. Where is Yellow? Written by Lei Tu Fuang Quin and Paru Batra. Illustrated by Gwyn Ting Nok Bik. Once there lived a box of paint tubes in an artist's house. The yellow tube said to the other paint tubes, I don't want to paint with you all. I don't want to become used up. That same day, the artist decided to paint the most beautiful painting ever for all the children in the world. The artist painted the trees with brown, but something was missing. What was it? The artist painted the leaves with green, but something was missing. What was it? The artist painted the sky with blue, but something was missing. What was it? She painted the blooming flowers with red and pink. Still, something was missing. She painted the scarlet dragonflies, the lime green parrots, the snow white rabbit, and the gray elephant, but something was still missing. What do you think was missing in the painting? The artist opened the window and looked outside. Now she knew what was missing. It was the sun. Yellow. 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 She needed yellow to paint the sun. Do you know where Yellow was hiding? Yellow was nowhere to be seen. But what about the most beautiful painting for all the children in the world? What could be done? Yellow thought and thought. Then she stuck her head out of her hiding place, whispering, Here I am. You can paint the sun now, but only take a little of me. There, the artist could now paint the most beautiful painting ever for all the children in the world. Do you like it? The End Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Speckled Frogs. Frogs? Oh, like you, Mr. Frog. That's right. Today, you can all pretend to be frogs. Yay! <laughs> I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many frogs did I say there were? Five! Good listening. Here we go. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Now I want you to all sing along with me. I want to hear you sing too. How many frogs are there now? Four! Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log Eating the most delicious bugs Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool Where it was nice and cool Now there are three green speckled frogs How many? Three! Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log Eating the most delicious bugs Nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. How many? Two. Two little 
speckled frogs, sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. How many? One! One little speckled frog, sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! Jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Well done! Yay! <laughs> thank you for singing with me, and thank you too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter O. Who can think of a fun way to do it? I have an idea. Let's dig letters in the sand with a shovel. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Monkey, you go first. All right. <laughs> Great! I'll try next! <laughs> oh! <gasps> Terrific tracing! Now, let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try it! Nice job! I'll trace the next one. <laughs> oh! You did it! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? O! Exactly! Uppercase O. And what's this letter? O. That's right, lowercase o. Nice job. Wow, wow, cool. Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. O. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play the alphabet game when I show you a letter. Say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? O! What's this letter? C! What's this letter? Q! What's this letter? G! Now let's do it fast. O C Q G Q O G C G O Q C O Q C G. <laughs> nice work, everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter. You say it's me. Hedgehog, you found 
me. No, we found you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> And now, it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock.